welcome back to my channel if this is your first time welcome my name is Mira. nice to meet you i hope you enjoyed this video and now to become a part of this amazing family anyway this is the title state in today's video i'm going to be showing you how i edit my thumbnails using my phone usually i use two apps which is Fonto and canva but in today's video i'm going to be using Fonto because it's faster and simpler let me know in the comment section if you'd want another tutorial on canva as well and i'll do that with my laptop for those of you who use your laptops to edit so without saying too much let's get right into the video okay guys so usually i use these two apps Fonto or canva depending on my mood but for the sake of this video we'll be using Fonto. now when you go to Fonto, usually it is dark like this so all you have to do is click on the camera sign there i recommend that you go to plain images choose this i like to choose this particular one when you get here i recommend that you change it to the youtube size which is 1280 times 720p so i'm just going to go ahead and tap this and then customize and then you change it okay so this particular box is just a guide for you to be able to create your thumbnail this is just to make sure that you don't get out of line because if your file is too big youtube would not allow you to upload it and if it's too small too it would not allow you to upload it so this is just a proper guide now that you have this you just go ahead and do a click use and save okay so when you get this you now want to come back here and then add image okay so usually i like to favorite whatever i'm going to use so all you have to do is come here and then look for the image you'll be using where's mine okay i'm going to be using this one okay so when you get here you press done now another thing you should know is that usually the image is very tiny but it's up to you to make it bigger and everything so all you have to do is click on size and then make sure it fits it fills the white background when you're creating your thumbnails you guys always make sure that the letters come to the left and not the right why because usually when you upload a video the duration is um, down here so if you put a thumbnail here the probability that it might cover a part of your writings is very high so always put it on this side so that people can see it okay so moving on you can just tap on the background and then you see text so here let's just say what should we name this let's call this how I let me make it capital letter so you guys can see properly how I edit my thumbnails, right? And then done. Okay. So the average person can just do this and you're good to go. But we are not average and we are not basic, okay? So we are going to add some spice to it. Under normal circumstances, this is not a bad thumbnail. However, something like this is not that catchy. Anyone can do this. But if it's colorful, if it's bright, then people are like forced to probably like stop and check out what it is all about so usually what i do is that i write my text in bits so let's go back to this text um, text right so what i'll do is that i'll do this i'll do this and then i'll go back to text and then i'll do how i edit my and then i'll put it back here and then i'll thumbnails And then done okay and i bring her as well okay this is supposed to be a capital letters my thumbnails okay okay oh god sorry you guys i thought I was focusing so here you have so many options you can change the size of the text you can tilt it you can move it around you can alpha i never i've never tried alpha or you can remove whatever text you've written and if you click on the text like this you have other options as well you have like the font size usually i usually i use oswald in bold but you can change that as well you can change the style which we'll be doing very soon you can make this size of the text bigger which is very necessary especially if you have space you can tilt it you can move it around and so on and so forth so let's just move this around a bit move okay um i think i want it to be in the middle and then thumbnails we move it up a bit 
okay so i feel like the thumbnail is covering my hand so i'm just going to do this as well and then take it up a bit more okay so now that we're done with that we're just going to go into style now when we get to style you guys here this is where all everything happens so in style currently you can see the text because the text is in white now what i like to do is that i like to put backgrounds behind my text to make them pop more so as soon as you add black to it do you see it becomes something completely different let me show you guys what i'm talking about you see it changes everything so you see the differences between this so if you if you sort of this as a thumbnail you'll probably click this one and leave this one now let's do the same thing to all of them style okay so background and black now another thing you can do is that you can add strokes to it you can change the color of the text and so on and so forth since it's youtube related i like to add like a pop of red to it just so it matches the youtube theme and logo so i'm going to go back into style and then this time i'm going to make the text red and then i'm going to make the background white just like this okay so let's take it a bit further so for instance if i want to see that how i edit my thumbnails on phone i would get a transparent sign like a sign of a phone and put it either here or somewhere but i want people to know that the thumbnails are for youtube so i'm just going to add like a youtube logo and you can easily do that by you can easily get a youtube logo by downloading it from google so what i do is that i just download it and then when i'm done i just add it okay it's behind there okay how do i get you out okay then I bring this bad guy right here. Okay, I think the mine is too small, so I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger. See, it makes a difference. Now, how you, where you want the red to be, how you want it to be, is completely up to you. I like it here. I think it's more flattery there. But when you finish with this, like I said, there are a bunch of other options. You can add items. For instance, if you're thinking out loud, you can add it here, and then you can just like tilt it a bit. To make you look like you're thinking or whatever like there are endless options on this very tiny app very simple app to be honest let me move this because i don't need it <laughs> but yeah so this is how it is and then when you're done all you have to do is to go to this place and then save i like saving in png so i just do that and okay and then i go back to my photos which is and there it is and um, Okay, guys, so this brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to share, like, and most importantly, subscribe. And I mean, if you didn't, let me know as well. And I'll know what I can improve upon. Let me know in the comment section if there are other things you want me to do next. Until next time, bye.